Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 5000 series laptop. This exact one is a Dell Inspiron 5502 or 5509, they are both exactly the same. The tag number on this one is a C2N7763 and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can access the battery, remove the battery or replace the battery. If your battery is not holding up any more charge or you just be charging really quickly, then you might want to replace yours. And at the end of the video, I will give you a tip on how to keep your battery held at best performance state. And you should be doing that once every couple of months and very importantly to do it once you install the new battery. Just remember by removing the battery or replacing it, you're not going to change any configuration in the laptop. It's going to all be the same. It's just plug and play. All right, with all this set, that's power off the laptop completely. And we're gonna flip it upside down and I'll go over the tools that I'll be using. I'll leave all the tools that I use in the video description in case you wanna purchase yours. Tool number one is a good screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set. And from this tool set, I'll be using a double zero Phillips. And from here, if you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers, few other stuff. If not, just get the basic set. For the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with all of this set, let's get into it. On the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Keep them in one pile. We're gonna remove all of them except the two back corners. We don't want to touch this ones, and I'll explain to you guys in a second. So remove the one in the back mat, one on, on the sides, and the front row. Go ahead and remove them and keep them in a sing, sep, one single pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Appreciate that. All right. Now that I almost done finish removing all the screws. The reason that we don't remove the screws on the back here first is because these screws in the corner, they have something called a C-lock. The C-lock is a bracket C-shape that is on the other side of this case attached to the screw that will prevent the screw coming out entirely. So, and it serves a purpose. As soon as I start rotating this screw, you're going to see a gap opening in here. And that's because of the C-lock that is pushing away the cover from the palm rest. And you can see that space right there. And you wanna rotate until you hear click sounds from here and you feel like the screw is loosened up and that's where you wanna stop. Same thing in here. So as soon as I rotate, I'll see that gap opening and continuing with some click sounds and that's it. Once we hear those, all you wanna do in here, grab the guitar pick, stick it right in there about two or three millimeters, and then you want to just lift it, lift up the case, make a jack right there, fill it up, go to the back corner in the front corner. The front, it should come out. If it doesn't come out, work yourself all around in the front end. And then you want to grab it, wiggle it around, and it should release the bottom case. Once you remove the bottom case, the battery should be right in front of you. This is a 53 watt hour battery standard. The model for this one is an H5CKD. That's a 15 volt battery. I'll try to get the link for this one. I'll leave it in the video description. To remove the battery, first we're gonna disconnect it. To disconnect it, you wanna put your fingernails at the side of this jack on the first step right there. And then you wanna pull it back just like that. And rip up this tape right there and it will disconnect itself. Just make sure you pull up from this side of the jack right in here. You want to put your fingers right in here. You don't want to put your fingers on this side. So you don't want to rip this apart. You want to rip, pull, slide this back one. Right, you rip this back and there's a gaffer's tape in here too, all the way in the bottom. You want to remove that too. And now you want to lift up this connector upward. Like here. there's no locks or anything like here. You just remove it because they don't give you this cable adapter with a new battery. So you want to keep it in one pile. You want to switch to a Phillips number one. And we're going to remove one, two, three, four, five screws that touches the battery. Go ahead and remove them. 
all the screws again, they are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching it. All right, once you remove the screws, all you want to do, you want to grab this battery, bring it up, and that's it. This is a one, two, three, four cell battery. So once you get the new one, it's for demonstration only. Also, if you want to get it directly from Dell, you want to order yours. The part number is right in here, DP. is a 09077G. You can order by that part number directly from Dell. But if you want to buy it outside Dell, you want to go with a battery model, which is right here. Right, once you got the new one in, first I'd rather put the adapter outside than putting it in there. You want to make sure the pins are facing down. And you want to put it right on top of the connector and pinch it right in there. It's easier to pinch right in here. And you want to run the cable straight between the grooves right there. And bring down the battery, make sure the screw holes match nicely. And you want to slide this connector evenly inside the connector right there and then what you want to do you want to just pinch them together right in there make sure it goes all the way in and sit down the cable right in there to finish it off it's just to putting up the screws that you removed from the battery before just put them in there don't tighten up like crazy just firmly but don't go too crazy on the screws Now, once you put the new battery in there, you want to just grab the bottom case, bring it over. You want to squeeze the sides, the front end, make sure it goes right under the palm rest, right in there. You want to hear those nice click sounds, otherwise your trackpad is not going to click. You want to push down really hard on the sides, on the corner in the front, but you don't want to push down the back corners. And the reason you don't want to do it, because you want to just... You screw it down first, and while, while you're screwing it down, it's going to pull the cover to itself, and it's going to make some click sounds. If it didn't go all the way in, just sort of push, and it's going to help out to snap those cover back in. Same thing in here, and there we have it. And to finish it off, it just put the bottom screws all over the place, wherever you see a screw. Now, regarding the new battery installation. Once you have the new battery in there installed, you don't want to power on the laptop right away. You want to connect the charger and leave it charging at least for four to five hours without, uh, without turning on the laptop. After four to five hours of charge, you want to power on the laptop without the charger connected and bring down the brightness of the, of the screen down to 30 or 40%. And don't put any gaming on a heavy load or anything like that. Just with a normal video watching, movies, or web browsing like that. Bring down the battery charge down to 30 or 20%. After that, you want to power off the laptop and plug in the charger and leave it again for 4 to 5 hours charging while it's off. And after that, you can just power it on as you wish and charge it as you wish. That initial charge and discharging the battery for the new ones is really, really crucial and very important for the new batteries. And you can do that the same procedure once every couple of months to keep your battery at the best health performance. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.